Robo Mop by Sean Taylor and pictures by Adele Rodriguez. There I was, a very hardworking robo mop. Slightly dented from the old small accident, but good at my job, which is cleaning. And do you know what I had to clean? A bathroom in a basement. It wasn't funny one slightest bit in the least. No fresh air, no friends, all day, every day. Washing, sloshing, rubbing, scrubbing, slopping, and mopping. How would you feel about that? Well, I'll tell you how I felt. I felt like escaping, but robo mops cannot get up steps. The inspector of public restrooms came every Friday to see how clean I was keeping things. So I tried a clever tactic. I ran over a bag of potato chips until it jammed in my lateral vacuum vent. As planned, it made a sound like I was broken. Crinkly, crackly, creakly, crackly, crinkly, crackly, creak. I hoped that the inspector would take me out to be fixed, and then I could make my escape. Instead, he put a cardboard box over me to keep the noise down while he inspected. But I was not to be defeated, not in the least bit. You see, a man came in with a very big duffel bag, and I tried to escape by hiding inside it. Unfortunately, he noticed. Then once each month, the window cleaner cheerfully came to squeege and sew forth the windows. He always brought his radio, which played a sort of honky-tonk music. If I sometimes did a small honky-tonk dance to the tunes, you should have heard how loudly he laughed. And once he said, You'd better stop doing that. My friend or someone will probably sell you to the circus. So I did not stop doing it. In fact, I did a small honky tonk dance every time somebody arrived and I hoped they would sell me to the circus, but they didn't. Oh dear, I was completely gloomy and in a sad pickle. How was I ever going to see the world, feel the sunshine and fall in love? I was stuck down there, well, and truly, with an awful case of robo mop, basement, bathroom, blues. Then, one day, everything changed. To my greatest amazement, the inspector of public restrooms arrived, and under his arm was a completely brand new biomorphic bellbot cleanerette. I couldn't believe my lucky day. A friend for me. I was overcome with excitement. So much that I had an odd small accident. But the problem that followed was a worse problem. The inspector put down the biomorphic bellbot cleanerette and as soon as he could, he picked me up. He put me under his arm. He carried me up the steps. and he threw me away with the garbage, which I was not ready for. It was not right in the least bit. I am a very hardworking robo mop, and I am not broken at all. It is not fair to throw me away. I was up there in the sunshine seeing the whole wide world at last, but it wasn't like the dream come true that I had been dreaming. I tried to get down, but robo mops cannot get out of garbage cans. There was nothing left on earth that I could do. And what's more, the window cleaner cheerfully arrived. 
He had come to squeegee and so forth the windows, but the inspector of public restroom said to him, I am sorry, we don't require services. The new cleaning robot can reach the windows. That was that. I looked at the window cleaner. He looked at me. We were stuck there. Well and truly, with an awful case of window cleaner and robo mop, lost job blues. So it was a surprise when he cheerfully picked me up and carried me off down the street. I thought he would probably sell me to the circus, but no. He took me to his home and I think it is quite a good one. The window cleaner has a family with one mother, two girls, two boys, and one dog. All of them seem to like honky tonk music. So the radio is often playing which makes my job very much easier, I think. What's more, if I sometimes do a small honky-tonk dance to the tunes, you should hear how loudly everyone laughs. And you know what? I think I'm falling in love with the vacuum cleaner. The end.